Hey everyone, it's Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. I wanted to do a video, or I thought I could do a video on the fact that Grant Morrison has uh, said he, he's non-binary, uh, but I just don't care. I think most people don't really care. Uh, it's one of those things where if if you're the first, or we can just pretend that you're the first, uh, and then that way, hooray, uh, progress. You could say that, but it just it, no one cares. It really doesn't matter. Graham Morrison is the first person that introduced me to the idea of the machine elves. Uh, he He's a kind of a weirdo. <laughs> so I, I almost think, uh, I mean, he's eccentric. He's a, he's a very good writer. Um, but anyway, nobody cares. So, but there are a lot of people that make a big deal out of uh, this kind of thing all the time. So anyway, uh, beyond that, what is interesting to me and maybe, I don't know, you'll let me know if this is more interesting to you. And that is, there seems to be a uptick in big companies taking trademarks from smaller books, smaller independent books. Uh, I don't suspect this is going to stop anytime soon, but this is, I find it interesting. Before we get into this, Fatals on Indiegogo, check it out. Uh, we are on our way to get to $90,000, and when we do everybody's going to get upgraded binding for their book. It's going to be fantastic. The greatest you're going to win bigly. Uh, also downcast rise and fall is also on Indiegogo. And uh, we've got a couple things uh, on here. Oh, I got a new backer. You can uh, get volume one and volume two and get the whole story, get caught up on the story. Uh, or you can also get original artwork. That's also another option. Okay. So into the story. Marvel Comics trademarks Black Tide will Debbie Bishop challenge. And this is Rich Johnson's speculation here a bit. Have you noticed it's been a while since I've looked at anything on Bleeding Cool? Because they haven't had anything very interesting. Comic industry has gone through kind of a weird period of uh, weird changes uh, over the past six months with Diamond going out and some of the problems that we've all had with comics uh, becoming accepted into, you know, as mainstream fact. Uh, so that is interesting. So he brings this up. Marvel Comics has registered a trademark for the term Black Tide for the following goods and services. And it's for paper and paper articles, cardboard and cardboard articles, printed matter, publications, books, photographs, portraits, paintings, photo engravings, stationery, office and school supplies, school supply kits, temporary tattoo transfers, foam stamps, party bags, plastic sandwich bags, shopping bags, plastic name badges. That is uh, a lot of very specific things, but it also sounds an awful lot like what you would need for a comic book. Uh, so the, the, what they're bringing up here is Namor, uh, but Black Tide, I'm just going to skip down here. I don't want to bury the lead. Black Tide is a book, and it was written by Debbie Bishop and with art by Mike S. Miller on Black Tide. It's the title of the book. Uh, this came out through Image Comics. Black Tide is the name of a comic book series written by Debbie Bishop and artist Mike S. Miller, published by Image Comics and Bleeding Cool's publisher Avatar Press a couple of decades ago, as well as... Uh, uh, as well a series of novels now coming out of a, of left field with Angel Press. Might Marvel want to protect themselves from any such challenge uh, of their use of words? Now, I don't know if Black Tide had uh, any kind of copyright or, or, or trademark ahead of time, but the truth is if you're creating a business or a product, you can create a business or a product. You don't always have to have a trademark, uh, like officially. So it does help though, if you, it gets challenged in court. So Marvel has the money to do this. Uh, and so they're going to lay down the groundwork to start doing it. Now this happened not all that long ago with the character punchline. You remember a punchline that came out with DC comics. Uh, it was basically the new Harley Quinn. Uh, I don't know how, how else to describe punchline a new character named Punchline, but there had already been a comic book series called exactly that, Punchline. Uh, it was done uh, by, what's his name? Bill Williamson, I think is his 
name, but uh, you know, also uh, your boy Matt Weldon, who did covers for Downcast. And so I, uh, I don't know. I find this interesting. It happens often. And if my education in communications law, I had the one class on it, is uh, is any foundation. Uh, there are some words, some keywords that d- just don't matter. You can't really trademark them. When it's a regular word that could, that's already known and it could be used very well, it's not going to be a very straight, uh, very uh, strong trademark. But if you have a word that is unique, it is different in some way, like Batman or Superman, you know, combining of two words into one word, you're kind of technically making a new word, a new term. So does Black Tide fit under that? Uh, in that area, I, I don't know. Uh, but it, it's still, this is the kind of thing <laughs> that big mainstream comic publishers are going to do. They're going to assert their power. I'm not going to say they're right, but their power to take any ideas that they want to. Any good ideas that they want to take, they will take. And that's because they have the finances to do it. Uh, what does this mean for this Black Tide comic series? Will Debbie Bishop have a problem with it? I don't know. I don't I don't think that she will, and I'm guessing that Marvel doesn't think that she will either. Uh, it's It's probably going to continue on <laughs> as normal as Marvel wants it to continue. Uh, but I want to know what you think. Should I have just done the Grant Morrison video? Uh, what, what do you think about Black Tide? Uh, is there a lawsuit waiting to happen? And uh, should Marvel be a little bit more diligent when they're looking at potential titles for new books, storylines, characters, so on and so on? Let me know for sure. Don't forget to check out Downcast and Fatal, both on Indiegogo right now. Help us hit that 90K stretch goal, and I will see you in the next video.